60 winglet sprint cars. Gonna be going green this time by. Green this time by as we got lined up. Dylan Alexander, Garrett Alexander, Lance Silvers, Josh Most, Jonathan Hughes, Chuck Alexander, Mitchell Alexander, Kelly Graham. Logan Alexander, Doug Sylvester, and Mike Mayberry make up the fail. We are green in your wingless sprint cars. Three, four, possibly four wide down in. We got Josh Bose hitting the high side. Looks like he's going to take the second position. Try to battle for the lead. Coming down the back stretch. Look at Josh Bose make the run. Side by side for the lead. Josh Bose has it going into turn number three. I do believe he got across in front of Garrett Alexander. The second seven. Yes, that was in second. Seven, he wants to see him. Dale and Alexander hits a run, but crosses it up, and he keeps it straight. And we stay clean and green. Single file for the most part, except maybe a battle shaping up for the second spot between Alexander's Garrett and Dylan. Dylan looks to the inside of Garrett coming in. He throws it in hard into the third. Number one doesn't quite get the run he needs, but he's holding steady. He may come to have a good battle position here. He's going to try and go for it. Josh Mo still holding on to that race lead very well. Side by side, drag race into turn number one. Dylan Alexander just throws it in deep. A second position over Garrett. I missed who that is in fourth, battling for the third position with Garrett. I don't quite know who it is just yet, but we'll find out here very shortly as they come across for another lap down the front stretch. Side by side down the front stretch, new third place position with a 67 of Jason Jonathan Hughes. A 67 of Hughes goes by Garrett Alexander for the third position. Side by side near the back of the pack. I can't quite tell who they are, but it's a white and a white and red car with make it a three car battle. I do believe that it's a 38 of Logan Alexander in that battle. Trying to figure out how to get by them. Three car battle, the five, the 12, and the 38. So we got Chuck Alexander, the 12 of Doug Sylvester, and the 38 of Logan Alexander battling it out down the back stretch now. Doug Sylvester looks to get by Chuck. Alexander, but it's still a three-car battle. Now we got side by side. Now he's got the run down the top side into turn number one. Slow car in turn number two. Slow car in turn two. He's slowing down. Will the caution come out in May? Not sure. Uh, Josh Moe still your race leader. That car is coming to a stop on the back stretch. Caution is out. Caution is out. Caution's out. And we are lining them up. Caution, lights are dark. Josh Moss is going to lead him into turn three. Turn four, we're going to see him light him up and take him back to green flag racing. Josh Moss picks up the pace. Green is out. Here we go. Josh Moss certainly taking out the lead there. Single file down to turn number one. Will we see him break out of line? Still, you know, Chuck. Are still battling it out in that mid pack. Josh Moe still leading out front, but the second position is coming on fast with 67 of Jonathan Hughes. What can he, what does he have for him? Two to go. Side by side into turn number one with Garrett Chuck and the 12 of Doug Sylvester. Three car battle going for the third position. Three car battle side by side. Chuck's going to take it to the high side of Garrett. What will he have for him? Caution is out. Caution's out. We got a spinner in turn number two. Spinner looks like Logan Alexander has spun in turn number two and come to a stop. Caution lights go dark. Logan Alexander flipped to the cap. 
catch back up to the field. Josh Mose will take him into turn number three, leading the field. Green, white, checkered will be your finishing order. Okay, green, white, checkered will be your finishing order. Caution lights are out. Josh Mose leading him into turn three, into turn four. Hits the gas, and the green is in the air. Here we go. Green, white, checkered, your finish. Jonathan Hughes chasing him down into turn number one. What will we have for him? Josh Mose just gets the run off of turn number two. And Logan Alexander is in turn number one, stuck up against the wall. Caution comes out again. Josh Mose is going to take him around the back stretch. <laughs> Look for the green flag as he goes into turn number three. Josh Mose, Jonathan Hughes. And we got, I believe, Garrett Alexander and Doug Sylvester. 93 of Josh Most takes the green flag, slides it up. Jonathan Hughes right on his back bumper. Here he comes into turn number one. Green white checkered for him, but Josh Most has a run coming off the on the back stretch. But here comes Hughes. He's found something on the line. Gets a little bit of a run. Slide job coming. What's he got for him going into turn three? Holds up, thinks better of it, thinks he's gonna try and make a run as a white flag comes out. The front stretch come and slide job into turn number one. Here he goes. Crossover move. Josh Mose back to the inside. Here he goes. New leader. Jonathan Hughes with a slide job at turn one. Takes the lead. Does Josh Most have anything for him? No, he doesn't. Jonathan Hughes is going to look up at the checkers and come to the checkered flag. Taking your A feature win in your 3cc wingless sprints. What a move, what a move. Jonathan Hughes. Round of applause set, he can hear everybody. There he is, climbing out of the car. Jonathan Hughes. Your A feature winner in the 360 wingless sprint cars. and Louis Winkleman and Adam, Adam Proctor will round out your field. Pace trucks are pulling off, including that very unique pace truck that is lit up like a Christmas tree out there. But Brandon Allison is going to look next to him and see James Herring coming around, looking for the green flag this time by. Green flag is out for your A feature in the Sport Compacts. And we have a hornet's nest of cars all through the back trying to make their way to the front in a hurry. Ten laps of racing will be in the feature race, and we still have a hornet's nest battling three wide in the mid pack. The leader is Brandon Allison with the 23 of Justin. Jason Brooklander heading out with Nathan. Oh, where did he come from? Nathan Chandler is in third, and it's a Hornets just behind him. Three wide, it's a pack throw, a blanket over him, because who's going to have the fourth spot? And it's actually going to be the 30X. Barry Taft will have the fourth spot. Three wide for fifth. No, sorry, three wide for seventh, I suppose. Either way, there's a lot of cars back there. There's a lot of cars back there battling for one position. Oh, we got a battle for the third spot now. Battle for third and second, actually. Nathan Chandler's looking on the high side, but gets cut off by Jason Brooklyn. Barry tapped on the inside of Jason. Now gets a little bit of a run, a little bit of a push from Nathan Chandler. Now looks at a possible three-wide situation for second. Nathan's on the outside, gets in front of Jason Brooklyn. Oh, car hit the wall and shoves down to the inside of the 28. Well, we got massive contact going on. Caution's out, caution's out. That was a wild one there. 
the 28 of Adam Proctor comes to a stop on the front stretch across the front of the field. Made contact with the wall, I believe, and then some extracurricular activities as the caution was coming out, but nobody made any serious contact, thankfully. Hold together. On your pole, starting out on his own in the Delaware double file restart is Brandon Allison. You got Jason Brooklander and Nathan Chandler behind him looking for an opportunity. Barry Taft in the wings. And the 04 Trent Norwig in the wings as well. Green flag is out. Get the hamsters running because here we go. Three wide into turn number one. Trent Norwig on the high side. Gonna take over the positions looking for third, but we got a battle for the lead between Chandler and Allison. Battle for the lead side by side down the back stretch, two by two, and then a little bit of single and a pack of wild dogs on the back stretch, but lead battle is the hot one. Chandler takes the high side, now has the lead over Allison. Orwig is now looking on the high side of Allison for that second spot, but Allison might be looking for the lead to come back. He's not just gonna let it up. Bouncing around in turns one and two, coming back onto it. Trent Orwick looking to the high side. He took a peek there, but he's got Barry Tout to his inside. He's gonna try and keep that position. Trent Orwick under fire while he's putting the fire to Brandon Allison. Three cars battling for second spot side by side down the front stretch. Here we go. Turn number one, Trent Orwick still on the high side trying to battle it up between Allison. Trying to gain that second position, but it's not having it just yet. Allison's fighting back. Meanwhile, Nathan Chandler is not exactly dri driving away yet. They're still trying to keep up with him a little bit. Trent Orwig might have something for him. Now Trent Orwig takes the second spot. Barry Taft is battling with Allison. Halfway, halfway down. Barry Allison to the inside of Barry Taft. Brandon Allison. He has the position secure. Now he's going to work on Trent Orwig for the second spot. He's looking towards the inside. What does he have for him? He's going to the inside. He might take that position from him. Leader is Chandler. Trent Orwig, Barry Taft, and Brandon Allison. Meanwhile, we also have a battle for the fifth position between three different cars. The 48 of Chuck Bullockham takes the fourth, takes the fourth position. And leads it for a battle for fifth between Travis, or, sorry, Jason Brooklander. And I uh, can't quite see who that is, but now there's still a battle for second coming down the front stretch now. Barry Tap to the inside of Trent Orwig. Battle for second rages on. Still side by side going down the back stretches. Barry Tap to Trent Orwig. Not too far behind Nathan Chandler. If one of these could get ahead of him, they might be able to run down the one of Chandler. Not sure if they may need a caution. Two to go. They may need a caution if they want to catch him, but Barry Taft has second spot coming into turn number one. The truck is the truck is waving for uh, Trent Barwick trying to gain some ground effects with us. Improvised spoiler as the truck lid is flapping for the 04 Trent Orwig. Battling back between Taft and Orwig. The leaders approaching lap traffic as the white flag flies for Nathan Chandler. White flag out. Going into turn one. <laughs> I just got to laugh as Trent Orwig's truck is just bouncing in the breeze there. But down the back stretch, approaching lap traffic, it might play a factor. Nope, he's gonna hit the high side, go around the lap traffic, no problem. Checkered flag will be run, waving this time. Look it up, there they are. Your A feature winner is Nathan Chandler. Second goes to Barry Taft, then it's Trent Orwig. What happened to the... What happened there? We got 48 and the 41 getting ahead of the 23. I didn't quite see that battle, but side by side there. The 24 over the 29. But your winner coming down the front stretch now in out of Norway, Iowa. The number one of Nathan Chandler. Coming into victory lane. Second will go to the 
I believe that turned out to be the 30X of Barry Taft, and third was Trent Orwig. Well, David, good to see you down here. I know it's a pretty good little tow down here from Norway. Your family, the Auto Crafters Group, sponsors this division here at the Southern Iowa Speedway. It was awesome to see this many cars here tonight, and you had a great run here tonight. Yeah, it's good to finally come down here and be in your own auto crafters and uh, been sponsoring the division down here, trying to get cars here. So it's just a great night to be able to meet everyone and glad all the pretty cars came out that day. Um, it feels good to come down here. Like I said, it's my dad's favorite track. And he won a lot of races here, so this means a lot for me to come down here and get the win. Um, so just feel good to come down here and, and be able to win. I haven't had to race very much the last couple of years, but it feels good to come out here and get the win. Got an awesome car here tonight. An excellent field of cars, man. Excellent field of sport compacts here tonight. You gotta love that. Yeah, it was, it was a good night. It was a cool out a little bit, so hopefully there's some more good racing and extra classes. And uh, we'll look forward to watching. Thanks for coming down. Ladies and gentlemen, Nathan Chandler!